Good Saturday evening, everybody, or Sunday morning, depending on when you're watching this. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. Behind the scenes here, the part that you don't see out in the main studio area. It was a dry day today. It was a very dry month for September. We managed to wind up with only a fraction of an inch for September's worth of rainfall. And into the early part of October, still no rainfall being seen across the Mid-South. But we may pick up some later this week. We'll talk about that in the complete forecast on News Channel 3 at 10. And also coming up on News Channel Channel 3 daybreak tomorrow morning. 77 degrees was the high temperature day, 3 degrees below normal, 57 the low temperature, 2 degrees below the normal of 59, 95 our record high, and 40 degrees our record low temperature for this morning. But a brand new month, a brand new amount of rainfall stats, no rainfall today, none so far for the month of October, and behind already for the month. Still well ahead for the year by just about a foot ahead, thanks to all that rain we picked up in February and March. Don't need any more there, but but things are getting a little dry. We do have, again, some burn bans taking place across parts of the Mid-South area for this evening. The overnight forecast, a few clouds coming and going, but not seeing anything in the way of any changes taking place with huge amounts of rainfall, severe weather, or any really cool weather out there. It's going to be comfortable into tomorrow morning, but otherwise no major problems being seen for the forecast. Dropping through the 60s overnight into around 60 for the metro area early tomorrow morning, and also looking at maybe a few lower 50s in parts of the area out outside of Shelby County and Memphis. So looking pretty quiet across much of the Mid-South overnight, Saturday night, and into Sunday. Don't forget to tune in for the complete forecast on the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. You can catch the forecast at various points in time there. Big weather story of the weekend is, of course, Matthew, a Category 5 hurricane earlier today and into around parts of the Mid-South area. We're not going to see any problems with this at all, staying out of the Gulf of Mexico. Hurricane Hunter plane on its way back out of the picture, heading back to St. Croix. More possibilities of some Hurricane Hunter planes going through there in the next couple of days as this begins to make a right turn northward and could be a problem at this time into the cone of uncertainty. That forecast there going into that great big white line. The red line is sort of the average of where the models think it might go. And Florida and the East Coast States are going to need to watch this very carefully because we could be looking at another major hurricane, Category 3 possibly, as it gets closer to Florida and the East Coast states. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. We'll have details on your complete forecast coming up tomorrow morning, bright and early, on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3 and also on my Facebook account at facebook.com slash austinonic wreg and more information on my various other social media networks out there as well. Quiet again for today and tonight and looking at a pretty quiet end of the weekend in sight for Sunday. We'll have more on that forecast again on News Channel 3 at 10 or if you're catching this later on be sure to join us for News Channel 3 daybreak into early Sunday morning starting on News Channel 3 at 6 a.m. From the News Channel 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your complete weather update for late, Sunday, late Saturday evening and more coming up again tonight on News Channel 3 so stay tuned for more.